This is a pretty fun horn for sure. This is the Scodwell Standard model trumpet we have on consignment at the shop. I'll tell you a little bit more about this trumpet in just a bit, so stay tuned. Everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Thanks so again for your great support of the shop. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, or I think it's down there. I don't see it, but it's down there. To stay up to date with us, to check up on all of our mini lessons. We're launching a new one uh, in a few days, uh, and some more are getting uh, worked on right now. To check out all of our cool show and tells, like this horn, which is a pretty rare trumpet, and have fun with us at the shop. If you have a specific instrument that we might be able to demonstrate that we have in stock, please put them in the comments and let us know. We're always happy to do it if we have it in stock. So this is the Scodwell Standard Trumpet, which is on consignment at the shop. Uh, it's in raw brass, and as you can see by the pictures, and there are lots of pictures on the store, it's in great shape overall. It does have um, a dual braced, oh, sorry, dual brace tuning slide, and it's got the Amato keys. Those are actually, I think, the Carol Brass style Amato keys. Um, it's got a really f forward front brace position. A lot of brace positions are right around here on a lot of trumpets. Now this makes it incredibly centered. It's about as far as you can actually put it up on the lead pipe. Very interesting, I know Tony sets each one of these in a very specific place to achieve the, the, the most resonance on his horn. It's mostly in brass, although you could see that it has a few nickel pieces right there, but it's mostly in brass. So here are a couple things. Let's talk about the description, what Tony says about the horn. So here we go. I'll put that up there and get a little bit. So this was formerly called the Las Vegas model, um, which I think we actually have a Scodwell Vegas model in silver plate as well in the shop. So maybe I'll do a comparison between the two. Um, uh, but I thought that was a Shogro horn. I'll have to just double check on that. There you go, that's the description of the horn. Here are some features on the horn. So, so I talked about the, the brace positioning. That's a big thing on the Scodwell instruments. Um, he is also annealed the bell, uh, uh, I think, as well. So that's that. And then the specs. So here you go. So you can get a, get your full geek on with all the specs. Um, you got Monel pistons. You've got uh, just a standard tuning slide here. You've got this is medium large bore. And a 23 gauge. 23 gauge is fairly heavy in the trumpet world. Um, it's uh, a little bit heavier than the uh, 55 gauge in the in the Adams line, so it's a pretty hefty bell. So, although this horn doesn't have a bad balance to it, it's uh, it's not it's fine actually. Um, it feels very good in the hand. So that's that. Let's do some playing. So uh, you heard the beginning. That was a little Michael Jackson with a, uh, a commercial mouthpiece. I'm going to use my MV3 CV cup, and I'm not sure it will focus. Maybe if I get in front of my, yeah. So it, that's a pretty deep V, and it's actually on one of our prototype backboards, by the way. That's a new prototype backboard we're making in house. Um, so this is lo fi audio, there's no sweetening at all, but um, it's a decent mic. So we'll play a little bit. <laughs> I'm not sure you can hear it on the mic, but this one has a really, really cool fluidity to it when you're playing faster lines. 
Again, the clam filter hasn't been installed today. For some reason, maybe it's this room, but uh, I decided to do a, a video in this room today. It's very dead acoustically, so you're hearing a very, very clean sound in the mic. Um, let's play some more. It's a very fun horn to play, it really is. Um, it has great, great fluidity. And I, think that, and I think that has to do with the bell brace being so far up, um, really makes it quite targeted. So that is the Scodwell uh, standard trumpet, which we have on consignment. Please take a moment, hit the, hit the, hit the subscribe button. I will hit myself on the bell to wake myself up. I did not sleep last night. And uh, stay up to date with us. Thanks again for your great support of the shop. Hope you have an awesome day and a safe Labor Day weekend.